Hey, welcome to wintertime boondocking, urban stealth boondocking. We are in Walmart, of course. And even though, yes, I have an apartment now, but I still get a kick out of boondocking. So what I have here is my pickup truck. And uh, we're gonna go on a little adventure here. Now, in the back of my pickup truck, I have it set up for boondocking. And we got uh, a cot here on the left, um, some storage room underneath of it. Uh, got a little little table there, We've got a lamp. Uh, just running in a cable from the uh, the inside right now, but uh, we'll take a look at that later. I've got uh, this ground tarp landscaping stuff on the windows, and that may add a little bit of extra warmth, but it also is, I think, the perfect match of uh, me being able to see out and nobody being able to see in. So, we'll check this out in a second here. Well, Superstore is not the place to park, so we're gonna go to Walmart. I just happened to be in the area, and the reason I checked it out was there is a motorhome boondocking here with a wood stove burning inside of it, and that thing's been here for a few days now. But uh, it is a pretty, uh, pretty blatant move to be using a wood stove when you're boondocking. But uh, we'll find somewhere a little less, uh, a little less uh, heat. And good old Walmart, here we are. I noticed somebody else is doing a little winter boondocking themselves over there. So I liked their idea of parking behind this, uh, this cart corral. It gives me a little bit more uh, privacy, and this is by no means light proof. If I were seriously uh, stealth camping, I would have that right blacked out altogether. But in Walmart, it's not against the law, and they are not going to give me too much fuss. So, this is the back of the truck, and we're going to climb in. I'm going to switch to the GoPro, and uh, we'll see if we can get a better view, and I'll go over a few of the things inside. Going to make a little dinner and hunker down for the night, because it's going to be a cold one. So this is the boondocking setup. What we've got here is uh, my light runs right to a cord. I have an inverter hooked up and that just brings power in from the truck. I could normally put in a battery, a deep cycle, or even a booster pack would do really nicely there uh, in terms of getting extra power. Then I could run the the laptop, uh, charge other things, but I'm not really living out here. I'm just out for, for the fun of the night. So you can see through this uh, landscaping cloth on the windows, I can see out fairly well. I can definitely see if anybody's coming around. And that's, that's the, big, uh, the big aim of this whole thing. So I've got a thermometer out here just to uh, check out the outside temperature. And uh, it's reading 16 Fahrenheit minus 8 Celsius. And what we're going to do is let it come up to ambient temperature here in the RV, or <laughs> the, the truck cap, and we're going to see just how that affects uh, the body heat in this cap, uh, holds it all together. And it can make a huge difference. Uh, I've, uh, I've actually gone outside to go to the bathroom and uh, just shocked at how much, even with no insulation, that this, uh, that this setup will hold. And uh, before I was using actually just poster board on the, uh, on the windows, but the amount of condensation inside would really uh, make the paper deteriorate. So yeah, it's coming up to temperature here. You probably won't be able to see this, but uh, 3.2 Celsius inside, so 26.1. Fahrenheit. That tells me we're keeping some heat in. But in an ideal setup, I'd be able to just crawl right through into the truck. However, it's uh, I'm not that small, so I have to go out through the back. But uh, I've got uh, 
this caught here this came from uh, I think Walmart and I fit it in I had to saw down one of the legs so that it would fit nicely but uh, I've got a good sleeping bag it's a hot core I got it from Cabela's and actually even when I'm in my home I sleep with the window open and minus 20 minus 30 doesn't matter I like that window open so it's uh, I know I'm gonna be warm in this but I'm gonna do something stupid tonight and cook in here which might make me cold and it's I don't ever recommend cooking in your boondocking rig unless you're properly ventilated because just the moisture inside it can get uh, can get quite cold for you so I am gonna hunker down watch a little bit of a movie then in a bit we'll put something on to uh, to cook and I'll give you some updates here and uh, yeah so this is just the simple setup uh, all of it the the rug here that I put in not sure if uh, if it's late enough to see this I just uh, I trimmed an outdoor rug to the size of the of the box of the truck here and this is going to be a fun night camped out at Walmart okay we are gonna cook a little food and uh, I'm gonna do it up here because there's more light but first things first we're gonna get all the ventilation we can going here secondly we're gonna pull out our cooking rig and only do this in an emergency it uh, really you should be going to a campsite or something along those lines and uh, or even a day picnic area it's all good now I'll see if I can find a lighter and we'll get this cooking operation going these are not quiet uh, stoves as you can see so what we're gonna do here is make some noodles with tuna because it's Ash Wednesday and we're not eating meat the less things I need to add and worry about the better so in we go there And just stir in this goodness here. You know, I could be using dehydrated meals. They don't have to cook as long. However, they cost a lot. This costs a buck. And uh, can easily be done in the truck. So we're gonna give that its lid. We're going to keep the garbage to a minimum here and we'll put some tuna in when that's done but yeah now we'll just uh, hunker down and wait for this to cook This is cooking along nicely, and I'm just gonna dump in the tuna. One handedly. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna keep an eye out as we had a minor pot boiling over here, and we don't want any more of that. But, uh, As long as I keep peeking at it once in a while, I should be good. I like to keep the lid on though to keep the moisture down in here. But uh, yeah, the noodles are pretty much there. So once this comes to a boil, I'm just going to turn the heat off, and uh, then I'm going to let the uh, let the noodles just cook. And that's uh, the way I'm going to do it here. 
Welcome to Hunkering Down at Walmart. All right, so that's been simmering with just the heat uh, that was left for a bit now. And uh, yep, that looks just about great. So I am gonna chow down here on my tuna and sidekick casserole. And uh, then I'm going to hunker down for the night and have a, a real good sleep. Mm. Oh yeah, no, you can't beat that. Yeah, you can see the steam coming off of this. So I hope it doesn't uh, affect me too badly tonight, but uh, as long as I keep uh, under the covers, I should be all right. I've been through this type of thing before. So yeah, it's gonna have my dinner and call it a night. Hey there. So yeah, I'm gonna crawl into bed here I'm just going to check the temperature outside right now. And it is minus 9 outside or 15 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not fun. So, I should be good and warm in here. And a very comfortable bed. And a good sleeping bag. Later. Let's see what goes on. Right here. Okay. It is dark and early here. Uh, it was a cozy sleep, but I like to be out of the parking lots before there's too many people. So I could hear some of the workers for the morning here. And uh the windows are very iced up. So we're gonna try and make a stealthy break for it. And uh, that was the adventure of boondocking in the back of a truck in a homemade truck camper, including cooking a meal. So I'm gonna take this out actually on camping trips too. And we're gonna have a good time uh, really exploring out and about with a self-contained little truck unit on the back. It took me half a day and a hundred bucks to throw it all together. So that's, uh, that's the way it goes with boondocking. And I hope you've watched this far and that, uh, that you can uh, do a similar project of your own if you have uh, the ambition in the truck to do it. All right, now you're camping with Steve. <laughs>